Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vidantu. We are discussing JA Advanced 2019 Paper 1 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. If i is equal to 2 by pi integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 dx by 1 plus e to the power sin x 2 minus cos 2x then 27i squared equals. Now seeing such an expression and a property of definite integration should come to your mind which is integral minus a to a fx dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of x plus f of minus x dx. Now if we apply this property in this case it uh, i becomes integral of course 2 by pi times 0 to pi by 4 f of x is what 1 by 1 plus e to the power sin x 2 minus cos 2x plus what about f of minus x 1 by e to the power sin of minus x which is minus sin x plus 1 2 minus cos of minus 2x which is cos of 2x only why because cos of minus theta is cos theta only dx now we can write this e to the power minus sin x as 1 by e to the power sin x and as you take LCM this whole expression would become e to the power sin x divided by 1 plus e to the power sin x and as you take LCM of this whole expression i becomes 2 by pi integral 0 to pi by 4 1 plus e to the power sin x divided by 1 plus e to the power sin x 2 minus cos 2x dx. So this cancels out and what we are left with is 2 by pi integral 0 to pi by 4 dx by 2 minus cos 2x. Now this cos 2x we can write as 2 cos square x minus 1. So essentially it becomes 3 minus 2 cos square x. So as we continue solving it i becomes 2 by pi integral 0 to pi by 4 dx. Now in this x after this we will divide numerator and denominator by cos square x. So it essentially becomes sec square x by 3 sec square x minus 2. So as you divide numerator and denominator by cos square x you essentially get this. Now this we can write as what 2 by pi integral 0 to pi by 4 sec square x dx sec square x we can write as 1 plus tan square x so essentially it becomes 3 minus 2 becomes 1 plus 3 tan square x now if we take tan x as t sec square x dx would become dt the limits would change to 0 to 1 and you get dt by 1 plus 3t square so this essentially becomes 2 by pi tan inverse root 3 t 1 by root 3 with limits 0 to 1. Now tan inverse 0 is 0 and what about tan inverse root 3? It is pi by 3. So essentially it becomes 2 by pi multiply by 1 by root 3 multiply by pi by 3. So essentially this pi and this pi cancels out and what you get is i is 2 by 3 root 3. So what about 27 times i square? 27 times i square. It's essentially 4. That's our answer. A simple question to do using property of definite integration. Thanks for listening. 